Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. Josh Schaefer here with Alexandra Canal and Prosumer Manian. We're breaking down some of the top trending stories of the day that we have had our eyes on. Guys, I've had my eyes on Amazon Prime Day and Target Circle Day just announced today. They're going to be happening in a couple weeks now in that July 10th week, kind of the week after the 4th of July. Obviously have our eyes on that because there are big moments for those companies. I was looking into those numbers. We'll get into those numbers in a little bit, kind of how much they matter for a company like Amazon. But I guess just at a high level, I am not someone that gets excited about Amazon Prime Day, which is why I wanted to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't love the deals. I don't think they're that good. I think they're just steering you to buy Amazon products, which is fine, but I'm not a big Amazon product person. Are you guys Prime, Prime Day people, Target people going to go do some pickup or no? Yeah. Well, I would say I have dabbled in Prime Day in the past, mm. but like you said, the only real deal that I think I found was the Amazon Alexa. I did it for a, a Christmas gift, I think, for yeah. my younger brothers. You can get more than 50% off the Alexa devices. That to me is a good deal. Other than that, I'm not some person that goes and searches for these big mega deals. And personally, I don't think they have a ton of that for Prime. However, I know it's a big shopping day for a lot of consumers. Yeah, you know, and I noticed, Josh, we're looking at today, the, the website for Prime has like a live streaming box in there with people like talking about, check out these noise machines, check out this new this, like pumping gadgets. Overwhelming. Like, I mean, is it just them clearing out inventory they don't want anymore? I, I don't know, but, but you know, yeah. we were surprised also by the effect of how big Prime mm -hmm. is for Amazon sales. I didn't know how big it was. Yeah, I, know yeah, I was looking into that. I was very surprised. They said last year they accounted for about 400 basis points to the upside in sales for the quarter. So that this will be in Amazon's third quarter earnings, uh, which I thought was very interesting. That's 4% obviously to the upside, very big for them. And I was reading back to last year, just seeing different commentary. Wells Fargo said in the July retail sales, Amazon Prime Day, they specifically called it out. They wrote a whole paragraph on it. And that contributed to positive retail sales for the month of July. Interesting to think about when we've been talking consistently about that consumer, right? Mm -hmm. Are we going to see the consumer slowdown? Are we going to see the consumer slowdown? Well, we haven't seen those retail sales number and maybe Prime Day actually sort of boosts it again in July. I just want to add quickly, 63% of Americans are Prime. That owners. is crazy. Yeah, I mean, so that's like half the population, over half yeah. is eligible for the sale. So I'm not surprised it's so big, but the question is, are you going to buy the little like- 40% off, you know? off a TV. 40% yeah, off a TV was yeah, yeah. like a headline one for me. That's yeah. not bad if you're in the market for a TV. And you wonder if consumers are pulling back their spending a bit, considering we have high inflation, possible recession, if they're going to go to these deal days more, mm. or if they're going to even pull back on that. So. That's something that remains to be seen.